Hey Silas here. I just saw this really funny image, this meme that's on the screen right now. It's of a four burner stovetop with a skillet on it with an eggshell in it. The egg white and the egg yolk is on the actual surface of the stovetop under the grate. This is a four burner one, so the, the, <laughs> the skillet is on the top right burner and the top left burner is actually on. This looks like a gas powered one. So, <laughs> it was in this group, and there was a few comments below it. One of them was, there should be guns pointing at you if it's the government. As <laughs> it says on the it says on the image macro, this is how the government works, and you want them to run your healthcare. So, <laughs> somebody commented that there should be guns on it. Uh, there should be guns pointing at you if this is a state. I think this is going for the whole, the implicit uh, violence in the state, the taxation involved in this situation. No, another part, really excellent comment was, my favorite part is that the flame is right below the handle of the skillet, uh, because even if you wanted to fix it, you would get your hand burned. So if you were reaching in to move the skillet, you'd probably burn your hand. Somebody pointed out that you just don't want, ha well, you just don't want people to have eggs, which is a common argument when somebody says, I don't think X service provided by the government should be provided by them. Somebody says, oh, you don't want people to have X service. You know, a good example is people say, okay, public schools are horrible. They should be done in a different way. And somebody says, oh, you don't want kids to learn. You don't want people to have education. It's like, no, they're doing a horrible job of providing the education. So <laughs> I thought of a few other things that could be added to this to actually make it more of, um, of an example of what the government is, of how government services often work. So... Being with the green movement now, the green energy thing, there would, of course, be a whole lot of solar panels on this building. Whatever building that this stovetop is in will be covered with solar panels and will be told that everyone will be like, yes, this is a solar initiative. This is a green power initiative. This gas, this stove is actually powered by green energy. Now, that green energy will actually only be providing enough power to... <laughs> light the little light in the, in the oven for the few times you need to actually check and see how your food in the oven is doing. Okay, now, the gas cylinder itself. This is a gas-powered stove. You won't be able to have the actual cylinder close to the stove. Due to some government regulations that were set years back that have never been changed, it would be stated that you have to have the gas stove about a kilometer away, I mean the gas cylinder, a kilometer away from any potential open flames. Now, this is a safety zone. It's for the safety of the people involved with the stove, the people cooking. That thing has to be watched by two people, two experts at all times have to be watching this. One of those people is also in charge of turning on the stove. Now, that person cannot turn it on from the stove. They have to walk back and forth to turn it on. It can be turned on from the safety location. And they have to walk. They can't use any other means of transport. They have to use a government-approved path to get to and from that location where the stove is. Someone else is going to be in charge of delivering the egg. And I say the egg because by law you're only allowed to deliver one egg at a time. This might be to save some kind of conservatory kind of thing where it's like, oh, if you're traveling too many eggs, there's too many eggs at the location. So it has to be one egg at a time. Now when that egg arrives, there's somebody else who delivers the government approved skillet. So the government approved skillet is placed there. Now, the next person is the government approved egg breaker. Now, due to regulations, this egg breaker is not allowed to litter. So he has to put the eggshell in a government-provided receptacle, government-provided container. The only one he finds there is the pan. So he puts it in the pan, and as he's not allowed to litter, has to put the egg white and yolk somewhere, puts it on the stovetop. Now, somebody else is in charge of placing the pan. The pan placer comes in, and he's not allowed to touch organic material. He doesn't have a license or... Yeah, he doesn't have the license to touch organic material. He's not approved. So he cannot move the eggshell or the egg white and yolk. So he just places the pan somewhere. If you remember that first guy I talked about, the people who were in charge of turning it on, this process is only allowed to start after the person has left, heading back, walking back to the location where the gas cylinder is to turn on the stove. Every time this process, the gas stove is turned off, somebody has to come in, clean up, and reset this whole process. Due to more regulations, 
only one person is allowed to be in the room where the stove is at any given time. None of these people are allowed to communicate with each other, let alone communicate with the person who is ostensibly supposed to eat this egg when it's cooked. That's what I think of and that's what I say when I object to public sector services. Try to think about this yourself. The last time you've had some service that's both offered by the public sector and the private sector, was your experience with the public sector option of this actually better than the one offered by the private sector? The sentiment expressed in that you just don't want people to have eggs comment is the one that grinds my gears the most and I think is very often used. You know, you say you object to public schools, you object to federal involvement in public schools, and people say, oh, you don't want people to be educated. It's like, no, I want people to be educated. I look at the public schools and I say, this is not the actual solution. People are coming out of this public school system for 12 years in America, then going to university for now what is normally five years, and then coming out and still needing job training. They're still not able to, to demand a minimum wage, I mean a wage higher than 750. That's why you got to raise the minimum wage in these situations. So no, you have situations where you get the information and you actually learn more things about what you're doing. Actually, demand isn't the right term. I meant earn. They don't have enough to earn more than 750 or something like that. It seems the only skill they do get, or one of the skills they certainly get, is the skill to demand things. And that's why they always demand there has to be a raise in the minimum wage. So where is the actual information? It's actually somewhere else. You can actually go out and find better sources in the private sector, on the internet. Just because somebody questions the service being provided does not mean they want that service ended or the need for that service cannot be found elsewhere. A good example is for information. In this video, I had some questions and I decided to go find this information. It's going to be links in the low bar to this site with the kitchen stove. It's about the kitchen stove. There's some different parts in it. I know people are cooking less and less, but I cook. And I had, when I was making this video, I was kind of thinking like, is that called the grill? Is that called the burner? I thought I knew these things, but just a simple internet search and I found the information. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to do out here. Before you just have these negative reactions to somebody suggesting something different than what the public sector is, you know, and people have another argument that, oh, the public sector has been doing this. They have decades of experience in this, so why trust somebody else to do this? First of all, doing something just because it's been done for a long time is one of the worst reasons to ever do anything. But <laughs> getting back to the point, um, the information is out there. You can do these searches. Next time somebody question something that's done in the public sector. Next time you feel that this should be done in the public sector, just do a simple search, see if there's private options, see if the public sector is actually giving good results of this service. In many cases, you'll see that when that service actually began, it was a lot more effective than it is today. So that's it for now. Till next video, like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.